Let's try it out. Oh my god, dude. What's going on, guys? Back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So, in the last video, we pretty much just went around, started doing a bunch of side quests and side missions and stuff like that. And we managed to get this shock stick weapon that I have on me right now, which is a unique weapon, which is pretty freaking awesome. I haven't used it yet or anything like that, but I'm looking forward to actually trying it out here in this video. So, to be honest, I think we're going to be doing some more side quests before we actually take off, but... Before we do that, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help the channel a lot. So with that being said, let's get going. Alright, so it looks like we only have one more side quest, and then we need to figure out what to do with that one dude. What's his name? Uh, Conrad, because he's broke and he doesn't know how he can pay his fees. So we need to figure out what we can do with that. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and try to find Zoe. The problem with that is that we kind of are not on the best graces with this group of people right now. So it should be pretty interesting to say the least. Basically because we cut off their power. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and since it is kind of far, it's over 500 meters. We're going to just edit our way there. So let's go. All right, guys. So we are actually here. And it should be pretty interesting to find out if they're going to hate us, man. Or I should say how much they're going to hate us. Oh, look. They're having a meeting because we pretty much cut off their power. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. And I feel really bad and shitty. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Well, let's talk to him first. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Yeah, it's kind of my fault. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Hello. Are you, uh, slick? Uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so. Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. I really I like her. She's a sweetheart. Here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Uh, uh, let's see. Just trying to get my ship off the ground, pretty much. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? No, I wasn't talking metaphor. Sorry, Never mind. I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Sounds like a personal problem, bruh. Uh, never too late to start learning. I mean, I could give you a few pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. Hell yeah. Have you ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Absolutely it not. Three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads... I could teach myself the ins and outs. Oh yeah, of course. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I'm gonna try to get all three for him. Today's your lay, uh, your, today's your lay. Today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those. Wait, do I? No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Uh. Yeah, I mean, I might have picked it up. Thermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. I'll let you know if I find some other ones. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. That's awesome. Uh, I wanted to ask you something. What's on your mind? How long have you lived out here? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. Nice. I owe them my life. 
Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. Man, that makes me feel even more like shit for cutting their power. What do you? Uh, what were you doing out in the wilderness? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and... Now I love this girl. She's a sweetheart, you man. You stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... A, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, <laughs> Adelaide would make a place for you. Yeah, uh, there's kind of no power here, bro. <laughs> Alrighty, let's talk to this dude. Don't see why Thomas can't just get the generator up and running. Something I can help you with? Uh, I'm told one of your numbers has gone missing. Oh, I can buy stuff you from him. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. What happened uh, on the day that she disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the cereals, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Well, I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but... Uh... Tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Uh, what was the surprise? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Damn. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. So, was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. Why is that strange? She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. <laughs> All right. Hold on, there was something else. Hey, I got time. Uh, what are you selling? Nothing. With the power gone, we've got to conserve our supplies. Man, I feel like crap. They're just throwing it in my face. See you around, buddy. All right, let me see. Oh wait, I forgot. We still have to. We still have a level up, don't we? So let's get this to fifty. Awesome. And then, for now, we're gonna put this in leadership. And then, starting next time, I'm gonna put a lot in dialogue and leadership. Yup. Let's go ahead and choose a perk as well. The negotiator being a skewed negotiator may cost you some friends, but you make up for it in bits. No, thank you. I might go with the health. Lone wolf, definitely not. Strider. No. You take better care of your weapons. 25% weapon. That's actually really good. That's better defense. Additional ammo stock on vendors. That can come in handy, but just not yet. What do I want? I think I'm going to go with health. Yeah, I'm going to go with health. Yep. All right, so what's the what's the gist now? Do I have how far is this map marker? Oh, it's not very far at all. Whoops, wrong button. My bad. Should be pretty interesting. Oh, look at this massive cock we got here. <laughs> all righty. What's over here? What is this? Examine. Uh, so that's it. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'am. And would like another one. 
I don't like the writing this down for po- uh, posterity's sake because I've always uh, hated the cannery and I don't think I'll ever have to look back at this journal journal many years hence and tell myself oh how or wow I did hate the veil once didn't I okay so this is just her essentially hating everything oh there's another one right here well today's the day today's the day uh destiny into your old into your own hands I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Food is gonna be to your favorite. Okay. So. We have to go to a brand new location that we haven't been to. Hopefully, she's there. Hopefully she gives me a reason not to regret my decision as much. So we'll see. Let's find her before I end up going back and convincing them to go back to Edgewater. Okay, maybe... You know what? Let's go ahead and fight. Now that she has her own weapon. Why is she just chasing him with the hammer? There we go. Let's go ahead and use our shock stick. Hell yeah. Ooh, a hunting rifle. That can come in handy. Go ahead and loot some stuff real quick. Don't really need another hunting pistol, but it's... Ooh. I like it. Where's my armor? Marauder helmet. I mean, fuck. This one's, this one's pretty much a marauder helmet too, so... That looks cool. I don't want to be a marauder though. Ooh. Another helmet. Let me see what this one looks like on me. Oh, okay. That is badass. What does this do? Skill. Okay, so that's plus sneak. This one is pluck, plus lockpick. I think this one's going to be more useful. I should have probably used my uh, stealth buff. I already have one of those. Yeah, I'll take it anyways for now. Okay, that does it. So let's go back. This stick was pretty on point, man. It shocked the hell out of him and it stunned him. This is definitely much more useful than that last one I had. Which I did I guess you could say like did fire damage. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Uh-oh. <laughs> hell yeah. Let's go. Oh no, where is it? Oh, I'm fucked. Woo! Oh no. Oh no, there's somebody right here. Alright. We're doing pretty good, I think. I think we already have one of those. Get our pistol. She's over there fighting and I'm literally just freaking... Blast! Is that all of them? I already have an assault rifle, so we'll leave it at that. Hey! Wow! You crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. Uh, maybe? You're Zoe? Your people are looking for you, dude. What are you out here for? What, 
You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Companion, maybe? I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. So you want to be a bad guy? Uh, I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Uh, how did you pull that off? So she's an infiltrator. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Wow, okay. Uh, how are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Yeah, well, I mean, okay. Why did you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. That's a uh, instead very what do I low find? aspirations. But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Okay. Uh, there was something else actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. You should go back. Your people are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. That's not true. What about Stefan? You two were friends. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. <laughs> I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. There you go. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. <laughs> it's gonna be fucked up when she gets there and realizes there's no more power because I screwed him over. Okay, that's funny. That's irony as well. Alright, so what? I have to go back? Right? Uh, awesome. Let's go back. I wonder what's gonna happen once I tell. I basically let them know that. That Zoe's fine. After this, since I'm already here, I'm gonna try to convince them to come back. Hey, you, talk to me. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. Well, okay. I talked to Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Yeah, she decided to be a vandal. She don't, uh, joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't hurt her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, well I've heard stranger things. Yeah, same. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. All right, thank you. So let's go ahead and activate our quest. Which one's this one? All right, I mean, we're good. Now we gotta find out how to get that one thing. Oh God, she's gonna hate me. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Oh, now nah, I don't feel bad. This is all you're doing. Of course it is. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. My power, my garden. Private, away from the eyes of my flock. So they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? 
you know, this is supposed to be a community, and she basically claimed that everything was hers. Granted, she put in all the elbow grease and stuff like that to create the community, but that's what it is. It's a community. She doesn't own it. She's thinking exactly like the organization she ran away from. It's not a good thing. All right, let's see. Uh, Reed needs to feed his... Reed needs his people back. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Wow. See, this seems like I would go back and kill him, and I don't want to. I definitely don't want to do that. You're being unreasonable. Come back to Edgewater. All this anger you had has to be coming from somewhere. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Wow. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Yeah, that's pretty messed up, but... I mean, I did that same decision earlier. He probably wasn't trying to be ill at the end. I don't know. You're being unreasonable. Come back to Edgewater. As long as Reed is still in Edgewater, I will not return. Those are my terms. Let me see what this does. If she wants me to kill him, I'm not going to do it. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Actually, make I like how she just said, talk him into leaving. If I can do that, I think that would be a great idea. Only because he even he admitted it, he is not he wasn't a good leader. Uh Reed isn't going to leave his post. I'll just I'll I'll need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. Man, this is turning the out to be a good decision. Is human corpses. What? I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. That's so disturbing, dude. What happens when you run out of corpses? Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Nope, sorry, not doing it. generations worth of crops. You're an idiot. Bye. Don't like you. How do I steal your stuff? Well, first things first, I need to talk to these people. Sorry, Thomas. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Yeah, kind of. You won't survive without power. It's time to head back to Edgewater. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. So don't work at the cannery. You wanted to be an engineer anyways, right? You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with there a little you go. workbench and my very own toolbox. That's good, man. Aspirations. Just... Work on them. Adelaide's never going to forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. Uh, she's an asshole anyways. She desecrates the dead. Uh, Edgewater needs you. That's true. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm if very positive. If we head back to Edgewater on our own, Adelaide won't come with us. She'll stay here and curse us till the end of her days. Maybe she should. 
I'm sure you're better off in Edgewater. Let Adelaide stay here. I expect we got no choice. Edgewater needs us back, and loath as I am to admit it, we need Edgewater. You okay with this, Grace? My affairs are all settled. Thanks for helping me with Zoe. Just give us some time to gather our personals and say our goodbyes. If you run into Reed, you tell him we're coming back, yeah? Awesome. Take care. And she came with no problem because I helped her out with Zoe, too. Back to the old cannery, huh? Don't know what else I expected. That's awesome. I guess it all turned out for the better. Let me see what Parvati says. Something you need? Uh, Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, I've not lately seen a man with a bigger or more obvious crush. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Yeah, for sure. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? No, I already, I already did this. All right, let's go. So now we got to go back and talk to Reed, correct? Let's see. You convinced the deserters, but Ali, uh, whatever. Honestly, I don't really want her to come back. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back and talk to Reed, and see what happens with this whole situation. Honestly, in all seriousness, dude, like I really, like initially, Ad uh, Adelaide seemed like a good person and a sweetheart and everything like that. But that was clearly one of those looks can be deceiving slash don't judge a book by its cover, because the cover was obviously misleading. She was literally desecrating the dead. Granted, it was for something good, but. Come on now, man. You were literally using dead bodies, and once the corpses were over, or when you ran out, you were planning on going into the cemetery and digging up corpses from there. Sorry, but that, that is very disturbing to me, and I wasn't going to have that, man. That's why I literally decided to not side with her. But yeah, that's why I basically decided not to side with her for, for that reason. She's just disturbing, dude. I just don't want anything to do with that. And ultimately, even though Reed has his issues and the greater problem is obviously the corporations, I think this is the better choice. Plus, I mean, worst case scenario, corporations could be fixed, even though I think the these corporations are far, far from perfect and have a lot to work on. Hello? Oh, hello. Talk to me. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Uh... So, Al... Al... Al I can't say her name, dude. Adelaide won't come back to town, but her followers will. That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products. Oh, nice. Courtesy of the people of Edgewater. Uh, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. By all means. Uh, you have your workers back. What happens now? This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. There we I go. I pushed them to their breaking point. That's good for you, man. With more hands at the cannery, I expect productivity will rise. I expect we'll grow. And I expect I can ask corporate to send us some more medicine. We'll survive one way or another. There you go, man. That's that's good. 
So I met a worker by the name of Thomas. He says he wants to be an engineer. Thomas. Thomas Kemp? I remember him. Had to write him up for daydreaming a few too many times. Maybe he was daydreaming about changing his career. You should, you should give him a chance. He has a knack for it. He's a decent mechanic, provided he will, met, uh, will, will vouch for him. He tries real hard, Mr. Thompson. This is something he wants to do. That'll make him twice as good. That's you may true. Be right. And with the town set to grow, it is time I invested in a new mechanic. Nice. Awesome. Everything turned out for the better. Something you need? Let me see what she has to say. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Nope, let's go. So l let's see. What a, what a, what do we have left? Without power, you should be able to salvage their power regular later now. Oh, so I have to go back and actually take their stuff now. Right? Let me see. Well, uh, region. Yep. Let's go steal their stuff. That elevator ride is really, really long. Hold on, let me see something. Fast travel to Edgewater. Transport wreckage. What's the abandoned outpost? I kind of want to check out the abandoned outpost. Have I been there? I suppose we'll find out. Can I set down map markers? Let's see. Uh, I don't think I can. But it's to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go there. I want to check it out real quick. Hope it's not too far. Is that what this is? Yeah, we're approaching it right now. Oh, I think I have been there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have been there already. Alright, let's get closer to this magma. I want to check this out. Before we actually go and take the power regulator. Because I don't think we're going to... Well, I mean, there's potentially... We'll be able to come back, but... This looks seriously amazing. That looks awesome. Just want to take advantage and explore a little while I get the chance. Because I don't think we're going to be able to come back at a later time. And who knows? Maybe there's some cool stuff. What was that noise? What are those monkeys? Should we try to take them out? There's a dead body there. Hold on, I got a hunting rifle. I want. I wonder if it's if it has a scope. There's a dead body there. I wonder if he's got any cool loot on him. There's another dead body over there too. Who knows? Potentially. Let's let's come up here and see if we can get a better vantage point. Cause those monkeys are no joke. Look at that. There's just it doesn't look like there's anything special. Just a bunch of dead bodies. Alright, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do anything right there. Let's go check out the old pri- Wait a minute. Old primal nest? That sounds pretty bad, but... Let's go- Let's go clear it out. Ow! I feel like I just want to clear it out. Alright, we're going in the right direction. Hopefully, we don't just die. 
Plus, it's actually a map marker. So, who knows, man? Maybe there's some interesting stuff here. What's all this over here? So, it looks like... Is that something in front of him? There's a lot of them, though. I really wish this had a better scope. I don't know what I just did there. Hold on. Let's go around. I think there's something. I think there was something in front of him. That dead body. Ow. Ow. You know what? Fuck it. Let's try to hit this monkey first. Here we go. Oh god. Here goes nothing. Ah. That dude literally goes underwater underground. Oh man, this is scary. Ah! Okay, let's go. Maybe if I take out the little ones first. All right, you know what? Let's look at the body. Fuck it, why not? Where is he? It's a fucking unique weapon. Here, you know what? Let's give it to what's her name right now. Oh wait, Pervati, right here. Oh, I can't do it in combat, I don't think. Oh my god, dude, the DPS to this is insane. Let's try it out. Oh my god, dude. Where you been at my whole life? Run away! Look at that dude, two of them already down. Alright, heal, I mean... I'm scared. Heal. That's one down. That's two down. Is that everybody? It is. Here. Let's give this to Pravati. I think she would benefit a hell of a lot more from this. So, character, let's go ahead. Inventory, let's go ahead and put... Where's that weapon? Let's go ahead and put that back over there. Go over here and give her the rel old reliable. To your character, you can trigger. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so will provide you to a pro uh, perk. So, after repeatedly getting beat up by primals, you no longer function well when they attack you or your companions. I don't... No. Right, let's go ahead and loot all these people. Nope. Hell yeah. 
Tactical shotgun. I already have one of those, but I'll probably dismantle it. Let's go ahead and look at the body that was up here again. Well, corporate commander. Why does this remind me of uh, Angry Joe? Well, you know what? Let's go complete this mission. It's freaking awesome that we have a brand new weapon. And it's a legendary weapon too. Pravati should be stoked that we got this for her. Alright, how do I get there? Alright, so it should be around this direction. Hey, look, it's my pistol. We should have probably done that while we were here earlier, huh? Very nice. Look at that. They're all still here, too. Let's go ahead and take this. Let me see what she has to say. Look at that. The snakes come back. Yep. To go back, they're returning to their post. Good for them. I'm glad. Back to the old cannery with Grace and Thomas. And Stefan and all the others. I expected it'd end like this. Lived out here for years all by my lonesome. Only right that I'd die the same way. I expect you've done enough for the Vale. If you don't mind leaving an old lady with her thoughts, I'd be much obliged. Uh, it's not too late. You can go back to Edgewater. It is too late. And I'm tired of talking. And I'm tired of le listening to you. Deuces. Let me see. What, is, what does she have to say? Yeah. Huh? Let me guess. Yeah, I thought so. All right, let's go. Let's go back to our ship. And then fly away into space. It's probably going to give us a chance or an opportunity to, like, adventure before we actually take off. So, I don't know. We'll see. got a long freaking trek man this is gonna be far so we're just gonna definitely edit our way there since it's a very long distance there it is our beautiful ship i really hope it does give us the opportunity to at least explore a little longer but at bare minimum uh allows us the ability to come back whenever we want just in case is this a weapon Oh, it's a tool to hack computers. Awesome. Let's explore this place really quick, though, before we take off. I don't think we've been here. It's a good thing that we found it, too, because there's a lot of good stuff here. No, I don't want to hack that. Let's check over here. Adreno. I don't even know what that's for. I should probably look into it. Oh, auto mag pistol? Very nice. The fact that there's a lot of brands and stuff like that, it kind of reminds me of uh, Borderlands. There's a lot of food here. Okay, music box. <laughs> it even made a little, nice little tune. All right, let's go. No, yeah, because, uh, I mean, for all I know... Huh? You hiding? This will be quick. Let's hear. What the hell? <laughs> what is she doing? All right, let's go. So he's dead. All righty, awesome. Well, we'll go ahead and take this just so that we can tear it down later. It gives us parts and stuff like that, and we're probably going to need to be crafting at a later time. Plus, I think there's a workbench here in the ship. Look how beautiful it is. At least now we got everything we need, so we're probably going to be able to take off now. Is this your ship? Holy crap, you scared oh me. Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. <laughs> when I was in Edgewater, I 
dreamed of flying on a real ship. Hey, you're more than welcome to come. A real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I want you to come, actually. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Uh, I can understand not wanting to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. That's very true. Well, that's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. The answer is yes. Can I come with you? Of course you can. I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Sounds like a fucking plan. I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabinet, and it's yours. Yes! I mean... Thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Yup. I got a captain. <laughs> I love that girl. Oh, look who it is. Hello. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. <laughs> I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Hey, wait, come here. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Yeah, sure. Something Why not? you, Captain? Uh, I like to know something about those I'm flying with. What's your story? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Very nice. Sounds like you're nice. <laughs> violently enthusiastic disposition. What's that about? Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in the pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Uh, why were you so passionate about it? My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them, regardless of the situation. That's good. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. So I think a vicar, unless it's an actual term we use in our language today that I'm not familiar with, I think that is their interpretation or their version of what we call a chaplain. But who knows? Uh... But weren't they pr uh, proud when you became a vicar, at least? They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige. But that was not me. Uh, what was this plan you were talking about? The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Everything flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the grand plan. Is the grand architect a consciousness? A natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? The answers to these questions don't really matter. The <laughs> equation, the plan, is all that matters. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in the plan. Okay. Uh, if you can't help but follow the plan then everything you do is part of it right the plan is not one rigid path there are a variety of multitudes contained within it our paths have variants but we'll end up adhering to it whether we like it or not some choices make the path smoother some rougher you can even go outside the lines but the further outside you go it's like an unbreakable elastic band it will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. Seems... Let me see. Yeah, it seems quite trusting of you to just sign on without knowing anything about me. I have run headlong into too many walls in my pursuit of the truth. This book is my last hope. And you were my only hope of getting it translated. Ah, uh, I see. Makes sense. What about you? What's your story? I like bacon, sometimes eggs, 
waffles and all kinds of stuff like that. <laughs> I was a con I was a colonist on the Hope. A scientist named Wille well Wille 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 saved me. You know what? I'm gonna give him the truth. And how did he do that? He defrosted me. He stole my body from Hope. Uh, at the edge of the colony, thawed me out. Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let's pretend for the moment I believe you. What are you going to do now? Uh, I'm helping him recover more of the chemicals he needs to save the rest of the colonist. That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? Uh, that's true. It just seems like the right thing to do, man. Those are a bunch of colonists, man, that needs my help. You know what I mean? I had a family on the Hope. No, you know what? Just because it's the right thing to do. A commendable attitude. I wanted to ask you about that book. Does it have anything to do with your religion? Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Wow, okay. What's a Philosophist? Uh, a vicar searching for a banned book sets bad example, doesn't it? The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. Well, alright, that's cool. Uh, any ideas where we can find someone who speaks French in this colony? I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate... Uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, this guy has a shady past, you can tell. That seems like a bit of a long shot. What makes you so sure? Oh, I'm anything but certain. But it's all I've got at the moment. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Uh, how will a crew manifest... How will a crew manifest help us track down your f scholar friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. You know what? That sounds good. You know, I, this is a good question. How does a simple vicar uh, happens to be such a highly skilled hacker? Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock I meditated, led sermons provided guidance to the inmates as needed of course I also played prison yard toss ball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems okay sounds good let's go thank you captain so uh, appears that we're going to a place called groundbreaker now captain, should be interesting I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Thank you. What can I do for you, Captain? Uh, I have the power regulator, actually. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Absolutely not, but I'll figure it out. So, okay, so I can't get this because engineering is at 20. Can you talk me through it? Step one, pick up your power regulator. <laughs> Step two, approach the terminal located in our engine room. Step three... Insert power regulator. Step four, celebrate. Yay! Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Very nice. Thank you. Luckily, it's not very far. Oh, look, it's a workbench. What is this? 
sawed off shotgun. I wonder if it's any good. There it is. That looks cool. Let's go. <laughs> I'm over here breaking my leg. Run. What can I do for you, Captain? Yeah, I uh, fixed the thing. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Very nice. You know, for now, I'm just going to hold on just in case and uh, maybe we'll take off in the next episode. But with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. If you're liking the series, do me a huge favor, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces. <laughs>